The Cross River Basin Development Authority was established in 1976. It is one of the 12 river basin development authorities in the country. This river basin, like its counterparts in the country, is saddled with the responsibility of developing the water resources of the catchment for multi-purpose use through the construction of dams, irrigation schemes, boreholes, control of flood and erosion, as well as the provision of consultancy services. Six senatorial districts of Akwaibom and Cross River States constitute the Cross River Basin catchment. Initially, its jurisdiction included the whole of the then Anambra, Imu and parts of Benue states. Decree No. 87 of 28 September 1979 gave the Cross River Basin its present geographical entity. Insight Information For us in the Federal Ministry of Water Resources, the south-south zone of the country is more like a treasure base. The zone is home to the tropical rainforest in Nigeria and this might give the impression that there is no need for irrigation agriculture. Ironically, however, my ministry has discovered that the dry season farming has been most productive when and where irrigation is effectively managed. The vision is to undertake a comprehensive water resources of our catchment area, water and adjoining land of our catchment area. The mission we have is to truly develop these water resources into a better use for the community through the construction of dams, irrigation services, or and other related things to order. Also further introduce all the modern technologies to the society as way of uh, improving on the use of water resources uh, in the whole area. Achievements of the present management from 2015 to date. Irrigation and drainage development. The Cross River catchment is a mixed bag of experiences. While most parts of the catchment experience rain throughout the year, the Northern Cross River is almost totally without rain throughout the year. The use of irrigation facilities, therefore, becomes a necessity. The center pivot system and the surface irrigation method has been used in most of the projects. Management under the leadership of engineer Basi Nkosong has commissioned studies and designs of more than 10,000 hectares of land for irrigation and drainage developments. The center pivot schemes located at the Ogoja and Onyong Nung Indem projects have been reactivated and is presently put to use. The Bansara Rice Mill in Ijeguyala, which is a collaborative private partnership project, was abandoned over 20 years ago. The project is now producing maximally with farmers taking advantage of the mill to produce rice in large quantities. The Onimak Young Farm Settlement project located along the Kalaba Itu Road axis at Okoyong Usang Abasi, another private partnership project is now a reference point to farmers, businessmen and women as well as a research hub for students. The drip irrigation system which is presently operationally in Obudu and the headquarters farm is the first of its kind in the catchment. Over 20 hectares of farmland is being irrigated for dry season planting. Crops like maize, watermelon and garden egg are presently cultivated in the farm. The Gari processing plant has been established at the Abak irrigation project. This has made for ease in cassava production and Gari processing. A 3,600 capacity poultry farm is also located at the headquarters farm in Calabar. Flood and erosion control. In the areas of flood and erosion control, the authority has embarked on the construction of dams to store abundant rainy season flows for use in the dry season. The Obudu Dam, which was constructed in-house, is presently used to irrigate over 100 hectares of land within and outside the Obudu metropolis. Recently, through the World Bank-assisted program, 
the dam has been used for the production of potable water for the Obudu local government area and its environs. The Buyan Akatsom Dam located in Oguja is now near completion. On water supply, the present management has midwived over 50 water schemes spread across the catchment. The achievement, I would not want to say we have achieved. And, but that's not to say we haven't. And that's just basically because I'm not happy we are not where we should be, you know. But we have greatly been doing quite a lot. And uh, if you follow what has actually been happening in the society right now, you would find out the number of people who are changing their lifestyle. We are beginning to see more farmers and we are beginning to see people have access to farmland. See, in the past, we have everywhere you go, it's bush. And everybody say, oh, I have 100 hectares of farmland and they don't really have anything because they cannot develop those places. When you have a bush and you cannot prepare the bush, you cannot. So what we have been doing is that we've been going around the community, the society, pleading with them to bring their land. We're not taking it away. It will never live there, but we've been able to develop them and then petition them and give it back to them. And they've been farming by way of trying to improve on our food security in the country. Dry season farming. The Cross River Basin Development Authority has over the years taken the lead in dry season farming. Over 1,500 hectares have been developed in the northern parts of Cross River State, while the Akwai Bomaxis, aided by a center pivot system, has successfully done over 2,000 hectares at the Onyong Nung Indem Abak and Itsu irrigation projects. Over 5,000 farming families have been engaged with focus on the employment of youths and young graduates in the catchment. Agricultural Processing Zone An agricultural processing zone has been established at the Abak irrigation project and this has made for ease in food processing and packaging. A fully integrated farming system with greenhouses for the production of assorted crops, drip irrigation system, fisheries and 3,600 capacity poultry farm has been established and is functional at the headquarters in Calabar and Akim Akim in Odukbani local government area. Ogoja Bansara Rice Project Mill At the Ogoja and Ijeguya Laraxis in Northern Cross River State, over 300 hectares of land have been earmarked for rice cultivation. To assist rice farmers in the area, a rice processing mill, the Bansara Rice Mill, which has been out of use for over 30 years, is being reactivated for use by farmers in the area. Infrastructural Development In the area of infrastructural development, an ultra-modern library complex, a soy lab, and a staff canteen are at various stages of completion. Partial commercialization. Although the Cross River Basin Development Authority is not among the river basins slated for partial commercialization at this time, the authority is indeed gearing towards self sustenance. Its water factory, poultry, and fish farms are both glaring examples of the present administration's determination geared towards enhancing the business culture in the psyche of the workers. Aside from making sure that all our project offices, all within our catchment areas, are now go into fish farming. See, before we were producing vegetable, all right. But we are now going into fish farming, pigry and poultry to be able to have more manures and prepare composites and be able to use for our farm area. We have increased on that and that is integrated services where the waste from the fish is coming to use the waste from the, the, the pigs are coming to use the animal husbandry is very useful to us now we have the poultry that is integrated services where everything that is being produced is being used by them. Songhai Initiative the Cross River Basin Experience 
determined to key into Mr. President's agricultural diversification programs and in line with the Honorable Minister's desire that each river basin development authority in the country should establish a Songhai model in their catchment. Our river basin has entered into partnership with the Cross River State Government for the overall management of the Itikidi Songhai farms. The farm which has over 600 hectares is expected to engage rural dwellers as well as unemployed youths from the catchment and beyond. Over 5,000 farming families will equally be engaged by the Abi Songhai Initiative. The authority has taken over the management of the farm. We all heard Mr. President say that one of the best ways to go would be and one of the things is greatest achievement and that will make him happy is to ensure that in the next 10 years we've been able to get over 100 people out of poverty. And one of the key areas of doing that is to get people to go back to farm. If you follow what the Cross River Basin Development Authority has been doing, you would see that back in those days we have access to so many land that have been encroached and taken over by society, but that's also because we have actually not put them into use. If you go back there now, you will see how many land we've been able to, as I speak, we've been able to take over 50,000 hectares of land and introduce people. We have introduced our center pivot system in Ogoja and on one of them and APAC. We have gone back to Bansara Rice Mill. We've been able to reactivate the mill which Mr. President himself commissioned when he was head of state. We've been able to put it back in use and everybody had been going to ride in those sub area. We have been able to introduce agricultural services within the periphery of our streams because we've been able to create access to those areas and we have so many communities that are benefiting there. They have, we, in the next couple of weeks, we would find out that fishery has become a key point of most of the people within our catchment areas because as I speak, we have now concentrated in producing to hatch fish and producing fingerlings for the society. And we want to take over all the sub-region. We crash the cost of fingerlings. You know, the next step will be for us to go into being able to compound our own feed, which we call the basin feed, and then we introduce it to the society. And it will be at a price that is affordable to our society. Cross River Basin Development Authority Nursery Primary and Secondary Schools and Corporate Social Responsibility. The Nursery Primary and Secondary Schools as well as the Basin's Guest House are parts of their corporate social responsibility to the communities. Through the private partnership arrangement, Kribas Nigeria Limited, a subsidiary of the Cross River Basin Development Authority, has engaged youths and unemployed graduates in the area. The water factory which produces Kribas sachet and bottled water is well appreciated in Calabar and its environs. Engagement with rural communities. To effectively engage the rural communities, the management of Cross River Basin Development Authority has mapped out a systematic strategy that will engage the rural dwellers on quarterly basis. Periodically, Meetings are being held to brainstorm with the chiefs and elders of our project communities. Apart from creating a conducive working relationship with their landlord communities, this development has enabled rural dwellers to contribute ideas and have a say on how their lands should be used. This um, program initially when it was meted, we didn't quite get the process of it because getting the youths to come into that was difficult. But with the number of sensitizations that had gone on, the importance of our creek, we go straight to even 
the NYC to look for agri people and other related areas. In this regard, we've been able to have so many of them engaged and we are now apportioning land into them. If you get to our farms, you will see quite a lot of them that are being trained. In fact, yesterday I was involved in one of the training. I went there and there was a lecturer that says that, wow, these people are getting a lot because they were actually being taught artificial insemination in birds. And the lecturer said that, look, I really did not see this when I was in school. So they, this is an opportunity where that is being taught. And uh, I think um, it's just a matter of time to we'll be able to see what they are doing. So we have a lot of youths now. They are the ones that are involved. But it's not just youths we are using. We are using the youths, we are using the women, and we are using the retirees. We are giving them portions of land and everybody is being engaged in it. The roads are what we are engaged on. We are creating farm roads. At times we make even things like keke available to them so that they can be able to move their wares to the market easily. Water supply in the catchment. Over the years, the authority has embarked on a number of water projects across the catchment. Over 200 such schemes spread across the two states of Cross River and Aquaibom are currently in use. A number of schemes have been rehabilitated while the authority is considering the establishment of new water projects in some communities. Challenges The recent NSAS protests which struck the nation as a whirlwind did not spare the Cross River Basin Development Authority. Its headquarters in Calabar was completely ransacked and property worth millions of Naira was scattered away from the authority's secretariat. The water factory, guest house, poultry and fish farms were almost completely destroyed. Given the above scenario, the task before engineer Basi in Kosong, as he begins his second term in office, appears quite daunting. It is their belief that his experiences in the last four years would serve as a catalyst to propel a turnaround for the authority. I don't like looking at the challenges all the time because they push you backward. But uh, we can't uh, fully say that uh, we're happy. You can see what my office is like. I'm still on plastic chairs. Where there are no chairs, no lights around the whole place. Yes, we were deeply hit by the answers. What you will see in our farmlands are all rehabilitated uh, farmlands. We, we we can't stay here and start crying over that. We have moved ahead. We're trying to rebuild our place, but it took us back. And of course, the COVID-2 limited what we could do. It is hoped that the series of projects that he initiated in his first tenure, like the construction of the library, soil lab, staff canteen, as well as the numerous irrigation projects, spread across the catchment will be commissioned and sustained before the end of his second term in office. Project for the future As a grassroots agency which deals directly with the people, the river basin continually feels the pulse of the people's needs and aspirations. The rural communities yearn to see a river basin that will address the problem of food production and infrastructural development the present administration has no doubt provided a roadmap to the fulfillment of this desire. The yardstick to which we have been assessed by the ministry is the ability for us to recover vast land for irrigation purposes, is the ability to be able to make more Nigerians, more citizens within a catchment area to have access to good portable water is the is the ability for us to completely eradicate open defecation in the country is the ability for us to be able to not just farm to be able to say specifically this is 
So how many tons of cassava we've been able to produce? This is how many tons of uh, palm kernel or palm kernel oil that we've been able to produce or whatever. And it is not just that. How many farmers do we have in catchment? You would see not long ago, about a few weeks ago, we were able to do a workshop of all stakeholders that had been involved in these key areas which I've just mentioned and in a bit now, right now, we are being able to coordinate and assess and have a database of farmers and the product they do and what they produce by year. Then what can we do to increase on those parameters? vis-a-vis uh, -vis the number of areas that can now be farmed on, the number of farmers that we have and how to improve on the products they do. Those are key areas when we go. That's why we have pilot schemes everywhere. If you go to our own basin farm, you will see what, how we've been able to produce the micro irrigation services in the area and therefore we do our integrated farming within the area. At Kusere Farms, which we had that workshop, it's a very beautiful Songhai farm, which you go there. You see why they call it the Songhai farm? Because it's an integrated services where nothing is wasted. And what have we done? It is the same society that are involved in it. And everybody is learning the better knowledge, getting better use of their land and they are happy that way. They intend to develop more farmlands, engage the youths and the unemployed, as well as provide a hub and a reference point for investors and local entrepreneurs who are determined to improve the lives of the local communities. Where people see challenges, they see opportunities. Where people complain, they explain. Their hope is to create a river basin that will rekindle hope in the minds of Nigerians.